Hi there. Today I'm going to be electroplating a part with zinc via hydrolysis. The reason for this is I currently live at the beach and there's a lot of salt in the air, so pretty much everything metal down here tends to corrode. So what I used to do in the past was any of the bolts or uh, anything on the outside of my bike that you could see, I would take WD-40 in a rag and touch each bolt with it. So uh, very tedious, took a lot of time, and to circumvent this, I decided to look up electroplating, and I've been experimenting it with it for a long time now, and I wanted to share it with all of you. So, with that being said, let's start with everything that you're going to need. Some white distilled vinegar, some distilled water, a heat source, and in this instance I'm going to be using a jet boil, container to hold our electrolyte solution, a measuring cup, some copper wire, a pure zinc anode uh, that I actually purchased from Amazon for about $10, and a power source. In my case, I have two D batteries ran in parallel, positive and negative leads, and some clips for our leads, and a bowl that we'll be using uh, to have a freshwater rinse in for our part, and some table salt. Now we have everything we need to start the electroplating process. So let's get started. So to start with, I'm going to take some white distilled vinegar and I'm going to put in one cup. In my case, uh, the electrolyte solution is in a measuring cup, which makes it a lot easier. Then, I'm going to put two cups of distilled water in my jet boil, my heat source. And I'm going to start heating it up. Now I've heated up my distilled water. And the reason being is they say that uh, the best reaction will be between 77 and 104 degrees. So I figure by the time this starts to cool down to room temperature, uh, it'll be at the perfect temperature. So I don't actually bring it to a boil. I bring it to just when you start seeing bubbles kind of coming up and you can see the heat coming off of it. And then I stop there. Then I'm gonna put a quarter cup of table salt and that equates to four tablespoons. And then I'm just going to mix it. And you want to mix it until you can no longer see any salt crystals in there. So you'll get this kind of cloudy, hazy water. And that looks good there. And now I'm going to further prep my electrolyte solution by hooking up a power source with the zinc anode on both sides. So we're not actually getting to the part where we're uh, zinc plating the actual part. And I'll just put it in the water and you'll start to see some bubbles coming off of it and that's the reaction. I'll leave that in there for maybe 15-20 minutes and then we should be good to go. Okay, this has now been uh, marinating for about uh, 20 minutes. So now I'm gonna actually pull out the negative side and this will actually be the cathode side. And this is the side that you actually attach your part to. So when choosing a part, make sure that uh, the capacity of the container is gonna fully submerge it. So you'll have to adjust uh, your recipe according to that and also the container that's actually going to house it. Um, for mine, I'm using, actually, this would be the, the part that holds the clutch cable um, right on the side case cover for the clutch. And this was outside. It's for a CRF-150R. And it was outside, so it was very rusty. So what I did was just sand it all down. So now it's bare metal. And go, I'm now I'm going to coat it with zinc. So I hook up the part and go ahead and drop it in. 
and here is where the clip comes into play because I want to clip it to make sure that it's not sticking to a side or anything. So it is sitting on the bottom, so I'm going to have to move it over time. But right now, as you can see, there's already a reaction. There's a lot of bubbles coming off of it, and that means it's starting to work. The amount of time that you're going to have to leave it in there will depend on your electrolyte solution and your power supply. So we're using a lower power supply. I have two D batteries in parallel, meaning it does not change the voltage. It's one and a half volts, which they say the lower voltage does a better of job of covering the entire part. I've done it with a nine volt battery as well. It's just uh, not as nice of a coating. So you can kind of see where there's buildup in certain areas. So if that doesn't matter to you, you can use a better, not a better, but a, <laughs> a bigger power source and actually get it done a little bit quicker. But for this one, we're using one and a half volts. Another thing I wanted to point out is before you uh, put your part in the solution, you're gonna wanna make sure it is extremely clean. So I sanded it and then went ahead and sprayed some degreaser on it and cleaned it all off. Um, but anything you do, I mean, it, soap and water or a degreaser would be the best and really get on the part to get everything off there because you don't want any impurities um, on the actual part itself. Okay, so I've had this in here for mm, approximately 25 minutes. And I'm going to go ahead and look at the part. Oh, yeah. So as you can see, there's this gray kind of dull looking covering. That is zinc. So there is some spots that could have been dirt or something else that didn't completely cover it. Um, but it is finished. So that's a way to when you're kind of working out your formula. And, you know, it's, it's different for all types of metal, depending on... Uh, also, what your electrolyte solution mix was, um, the power source. So there's so many different elements that's going to affect it that you really have to experiment with it. And then you'll figure out the right combination and what works for that particular part or bolt or whatever. And you will get it to work for you. So the first thing I'm going to do is go ahead and put that in our fresh water. So this is just some distilled water. This will clean any loose stuff off there. I'll go ahead and take a rag. And if you don't care about appearance, you would be finished now. I personally am, so I am going to actually take some a Mother's aluminum polish, or mag polish, so it works with everything. And I'm just going to rub a little bit on here. So I went ahead and polished one side of it. And as you can see, it looks really good. And that was just a, about a minute of putting a little bit of elbow grease into it. And it looks very nice. For watching my video please let me know if you have any questions if you like the video please smash on that like button and please subscribe thanks